All right, so I'm after um, back under the 1540s. I just I need two disk drives. I just pulled one disk drive because uh, that one again is 1540 stuck. So now I have two, I've had two of those. I'm not sure why. And you cannot also you can't shut it off. So that's some weird. That's a common issue now because I've had two. It becomes common when it's more than one. So what we're doing now. I've got about 10 of these still to retest, so I'm kind of retesting them as I'm doing this now. So, kind of doing a couple things at once here. And so, I've got to make sure I get this right. So, if you don't pay attention, uh, that's different than that. That goes that way. You gotta keep the blue on top. Let me do that. Alright, so we're going to test this one now. Let's see. I was on my way and then I got 1540 stuck again. And I know it's not the hard drive or the Wi-Fi board. I don't think it's a Wi-Fi board. I may swap the other Wi-Fi board just to be absolutely certain. But those work from a different system. So, so what we're going to do... So I need two disk drives for an order. Again, everything I do is always order related. So and all right. All right, so let's get this going here. So I'm stuck using uh so you gotta unsolder a couple wires here, so I have to use my my best wireless soldering iron ever broken, but I got two more coming in. They were they were on sale, and the people at the company on eBay contacted me, and they're gonna give me a replacement, which is cool. I told them they need to make more tips. Worst case, I have a nice replacement battery in here, and other parts too. So I'm stuck using the wire wired one now. Which is a real bummer, but it works. So let's go back to this. Huh. So I'm trying to get, I know I have one that fully works. So I'm just kind of going through these. I got a bunch of them to retest. So that's what I'm doing today. Again, everything that I do is related to an order. I got an order for two disk drives. 1540. So now I just gotta find them. Okay, you want to leave things as easy as possible to quickly switch around when you're doing a lot of different ones. These are easy because you just pop it in. Put these two on and you can just fire it up using that little thing right there as a button. It turns it on and off right there. Makes my life easier. So you want to try to make things as easy as possible. Especially when you're quick testing and you... You know what I mean? At least that's what I do. Alright, so let's go back to where we were here. I need to move this. Maybe I'll have more room. Make a little studio or something. I do have a space in the back that it could be a studio, but it has no heat or anything. So, I have a basement I could make a studio out of, but I'm not going to sit in the basement here. I'd rather be up here. In my small space. Instead of having a giant space down in the basement. Although my basement is full of gaming stuff too, so. Can't really. The shelves and shelves and stuff down there too. If you want to sell a lot of stuff, you have to have a lot of space. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Somehow, I'll luck. All right, so let's. I want to try. Oh, I'm plug it in. Like it's not turning on. Let's go through all this. Let's see. Again, a lot of these I haven't retested, so I have nothing. I know nothing about it until I. 
This is a disconnect. Do you hear that? I had a disc. Definitely a disc in there. So let's just try. Doesn't work. However, it doesn't matter. I will. If I can get some video here. Come on, you fucker. Yeah, I got video. Awesome. So there's something in that disc drive, which is cool. It's always a bonus. So let's see if we can get somewhere like this one. Okay, so we're going to offline update, and that's going to take a bit. Let's see if it goes first. Yeah, we should be good now. Alright, so hopefully I won't get 64% stuck. So we'll just let it run its course, and then you can hear there's a, when it dings like that, that's the disk drive. There's a disk in there. It's not coming out. I think there's a disk in there. Usually that's the noise it makes when there's a disk in there to come out. So, see if I can get this one to run. Oh, I know what that disc is in there. Again, I need two disc drives. Actually, I have another one I'm going to pull out, too. So I gotta, while I'm doing that, I gotta pull out a couple more drives while I'm doing that. So, again, I'm stuck with my, I'm stuck with my wired one because my wireless broke. But I, I guess I got two I ordered, and it's a small little company on eBay, and they contacted me and they're gonna send me a. I just need a tip for this one, I think, because the tip broke. So I may, they're going to send me another tip too, which is awesome. I'm out three of these. They were super cheap. They were like half price. So my, uh, anybody out there that needs a wireless, get, get these. These things are awesome. It's really cheap right now on them. I mean, I, it comes with the cradle. The cradle's right here. So I definitely would tout those. 
But for now, I'm stuck using the wired one because I tried to fix that one, but it didn't quite. It has a, a safety mechanism in it where if this isn't tight or if it's not on there, the light flashes. Watch. See how that flashes? That's saying that this isn't on there right. And then it shuts off. But what I found is inside this, because this is where I broke it. I'm not gonna do that. This is where I broke it. I, I had it on the edge and it fell. There's a wire in here. And I think there's this little wire in the end. You can barely, barely see it, but I think that's the sensor there. That has to touch this to tell the board that it's on. But I can't seem to get it to stay. I don't know if it was soldered inside there or what. I'm not sure. But you can see there's a little teeny teeny thing there. So this is the inside of that tip. And somehow it has some sort of a light bulb sensor. One thing or the other. That if this isn't tight, I got it to work once. Then I didn't. But I ordered them more. Because they were real cheap, so. Yeah, if you ever get your light flashing on these, it's because it's, a, it's loose. This is loose. So it goes like down this little notch here somewhere. So it's definitely fixable. I tried to fix it. That's how it should go. And if you get it right, again, if this is loose, that flashes. So you don't want it to be loose. But I had it working once. Let's try it again. Because I need it now because I gotta take some of that. Ooh, that was good. See how it's flashing? It shouldn't. Because I did something. So this is working well. I don't think so. So I'm stuck without that right now. I did get a reboot on this one, so this one's alright. So what we're gonna do is test these drives. Because I need two. So I was gonna test it on this system with this. I got one good system now, so now I have to use the wired one. Which is never it's not as much fun. So wireless. And like I said, they were on sale, which was, uh, which was awesome. Alright, so this dry board's got to go back to its home, which is on another 1540 that fully works. And it looks like we're on track here. So I, f I found two that have 64% stuck. And they don't shut off or they don't do the auto reboot. So that's how. Uh, some sort of a common issue. It's not the Wi-Fi board or anything else because this one's working fine. So that means those two have some sort of an issue. I don't know what it is yet. Right, so one on to this one. One more I'm gonna pull. So I got that one, that one. And I need two for an order. And they have a couple of doors.
All right, so we're working. That's cool, and then I can test some drives. Yay. So what I need now, I'm gonna pull this drive too. Pull the board off it right for now. And then I'll have one, two, three, four. Determines this drive has a disc in it that's not ejecting. So and then that's now I'm right down to three. Need two. So I'm one head of the game. And I have some other ones too. A pile of them actually. And then I got a box and a half full of lens assemblies. So the good thing with these. Actually I sold one of those too, so I gotta pull one of those as well. Is the lens assembly inside the 1540, the S1681, the X1787, even the Series X? This lens assembly inside is the exact same. You can take them out and swap them. The only difference, I, I, I say this every time, but it just, they're always good re repeating it. The, just this is different right here. That this whole physical drive is the same exact drive. Different models, newer, older. But it's the same, you can pull the parts out and swap. Either or. If you don't have a um if you don't have a pull in or pull out issue, you can just swap the lens. So I sell those separately as any any of the above. So that's a little fun fact there. And then exactly do need one. So let's solder this. Again, I'm stuck with using wired, but so I'm melting that 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 cradle because it doesn't quite fit. It's not meant to really be in there. So you can see I've melted some more plastic. But I'm gonna use that as a wired cradle because I'll get some more in. That will be cool. But it's so much more difficult this way. And, you know, for some reason, the wireless one heats up more than the wired one does. Or at least at the point of contact here. Not sure why that is, but it's cool. So I'll tout those things all day long. That Dominic's weird name, but. They got a Dominix, they also have a, a foam cutter, which I thought was really cool. It's like a heat up, it heats up on a long thing so you can undo foam, cut it nice. So that's pretty cool. Oh cool, now I got to fit right, I melted it, now it fits fine. <laughs> Maybe my new wired one. It's a cool cradle, even the cradle's awesome. Again, we're all talking about this company right here. Dominox. You go on eBay. They got a lot of fun stuff. This is the best. Yeah, they have a foam cutter. It's bigger. You just heat it up and sh sh cut your foam. Foam like foam in a uh, padding in a, in a you know like a package a box. Make your own custom foam, I guess. Which actually is relevant. I can do that. Next like this foam right here. That my, I'm leaning on. Instead of trying to cut it, I can use it. I can melt it and cut it that way. So, I told me I need to make an attachment for this, a smaller one, different attachments, and one one would be a little mini foam cutter. You know, just a little ball. You know, just it looks like almost like a knife, but it heats up. That's what I told me I need to make. It's all kinds of possibilities. For those things. Definitely have. I would have definitely have more attachments. Okay, so let's skip sign in so I can. I read the business and I don't have to go through all that nonsense. Sometimes when you do an offline update, you can get. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so the mail is updated. Before I do that, let me just. Hold on a second. This board's gonna go back with its system. And then I can play around. Sometimes these little teeny screws here on this are black, and sometimes they're silver. Either one can be used. And like I said, this lens assembly comes out on three screws. You kind of angle it, pull it out. Same exact one on all of them. 
so you can mix and match those as needed. Oh, I need one line. So I need again two drives and I need one actual. So let me figure out let me put this board away first. I tried to eject this once, let's try it again. I think this is disconnected. Yeah. Yeah. I would be able to see it though, I would think. It's showing games. Let's see what we got. No, it's not showing disc. So, let me get a disc. Let's do that. There's any dings when there's something in it. That's what's got me confused. But let's try a game and see what we see here. Yeah, there's some, definitely something in there. Alright, so we're gonna have to say that that's got something in it. So let me shut this down. And I can use this. Now I'm just using this to test those, which is kind of a pain. You gotta swap the drive board every time. But when you hear that noise, that that whining noise there, that's usually not good. I can't remember what that noise means, but it should make that noise. So I don't know if that's a disc noise or it's something I'm wondering what does on me. So we've already determined that this really works. I think. Unless, unless this is causing some weird drive issue, which I believe these do that too. That noise you heard. I shouldn't hear that noise. So now I have to plug this back in again. This really wasn't meant to go in here. Oh, it melted again. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. It's, um, it's all stuck in there now. But I melted it to fit it now. <laughs> so now that's my cradle for that. I didn't have a cradle for that. Because there's a metal insert in the middle. It's, it's meant for that one. But now I just kind of melted it into this. So now I can cradle it. <laughs> so, I just built something else. Pretty cool. Right, so let me figure out what's in here. What we'll do is we'll take the lens out of this one. I mean, a fun what's in there. This thing. we get a fun game out of this, it's always a bonus. I have time to play in the games, but I mean, nothing else that I see coming out and I want to go out and buy. I'm not buying any games anymore for a while. There's so many games. But, like, the coming soon games. You know, I'd like to see just go on loans. That may be something. I think that's in February. Maybe. It's been postponed for like two years now. Let's go on loans. No, it doesn't show it. I don't see a disc in there. I wonder why something must be stuck. Dinging like that. It's usually dinging, there's a sensor, I think, that may not be working. Hmm, well, we'll find out. This may be the dry board that's got the issue. So it shouldn't make that ding noise unless there's a disc in there. But what we'll do, if it does the same exact thing with a different drive, then we know that it's this. 
through this little sensor right there. I have a feeling that's what it is. Alright, so so now it's a matter of swapping this. But now I just put one screw, one and one, and that's all I need. So I don't need ten screws. So I keep putting these in a bag because it's hard to find these little screws. So all I need is one screw for the board and one screw for the cover. So that I can do this as quickly as possible. So I save everything. Because everything sells eventually. Or not. It's just like I'd like to have it offered. Yeah. Best case scenario, I have every part for every system listed. It's just not possible. AI could never get everything listed. Even if AI can help me out in the future, which I think it will. But I wouldn't be able to keep up with orders. That, 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 that. I do this as a, as a, as a, as a one-man shop, so I wouldn't want anybody else to help me out. So The amount of stuff I have now is if I get 10 orders a day, I'm happy. 20 orders after that is too much because a lot of times like see all the time I'm spending just on this I need two drives and I haven't even got close to getting them <laughs> tested yet so yeah I have about 15 orders piled up right now ready to go I gotta get them done but I want, this is the most time consuming part of the orders I have today everything else is mostly just pulling ship so I fix that. That's pretty cool. Just as I had it. So, yeah, that would be the best case scenario if I could do. That's all there. Maybe something got in there. For some reason, it's acting as if it's got a disc and it does not. So let's put that as a question mark and move on here. Keep melting this thingy. That's why I get all that. I don't want to get your butt on me. So, yeah, so now all I'm going to do is just put one screw. So maybe there's a, little, there's a little notch right there. You got to make sure you get under that notch. Where is it? There it is. A little notch right there. Get your wires out. Alright, so now I can just kind of cruise along there a little bit better now. Um, I got three guys. I got a lot more drives attached, but for now. And then we go red and black. You want to hit those, you got to watch out when you're moving this around. You know, this thing. I'll melt your ribbon cable. Okay. Not too bad. I can I can live with this <clears throat> wired one. It's not the best, but I can live Okay, the one I'm doing is solder wires on, solder wires off. So if you forget to put these on, it also makes that disc noise we heard. So I'm thinking this is a drive board. And I'm sure there's a way you can marry a new drive board by now, but I, I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Yeah, if you forget to put these on, it makes that, that noise. So I'm thinking something else is... So good either way. Either I have a disk drive issue or I have a motherboard issue. It's one of the two. Or the drive board actually. So let me put right there. I'm just gonna do 
one, and that's good enough. I'll do the rest of my own. Basically the same process over and over again. <laughs> Don't bugger in it. And the yellow bugger. <clears throat> so just one screw on here just to hold it in place while I test it. Because it's just going to come back out again. And then I'll go on to this, the second one. Probably the third one I have at three. I just need two. And then I can list another one. I've got more than two though left. It's pretty big today. I should have put this on first. My bad. Can I get around it? Yeah, so this is just selling two of these takes forever. I don't have things, well, sometimes I do have things all ready to go. But disk drives, I just kind of pull them as I get orders. I kind of guess how many I think I have working. And hopefully I can come up with it. Which I should be able to. Okay. Alright, okay. So now we're. I know where I want to be. Again, same. I'm just going to put one screw here. That's going to get me to where I need to be. Just to keep it in place. And now it's just a matter of firing it up and see if we... If I hear that noise, I know I'm, I'm in trouble. I'll move on to a different... I had no. I know I have 15, another 1540 that works. I was just testing these as I'm doing them. So it's let's see if I know. So far, I'm thinking just gotta make sure that it goes the correct way. It's a little L to it, and this one, the little the blue is on top. Yeah. Groove. I now see that groove. Good enough. For me, good enough is always good. It's good. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be good enough. Now I got it in there. Alright. So that's all the process just to swap a drive. Is pretty much again. I can't do any faster than that. Like, that gives me this. You've already updated it, so she just turn on and, and go right to the screen. She get the green screen and then go to the screen. Just like that. I need that now. I need that. I need this. See now it's making it's not making that ding in this. So it might be alright then. It's not on the drive then. See now? Alright, so we code. So this I use the offline update. Always remember to put the newest firmware. The day you do it, and download it and put it on here. Wipe everything else off. Start fresh. Alright, so we'll just run this one and we'll call it. I'll do the rest of my time. Yeah. I'm two. Would you tell me that first one has some sort of a problem? Green screen is just a boot. So that means I have another good one of these. Good motherboard. Updated. Cool. 
two or two sixty four percent stock. I have a few of that. No power at all. So we want to skip sign out. We don't have to sign it out anything. Although I don't have the Wi-Fi connected. So it's gonna ask to do an update. So technically I'm gonna to have to connect this to the Wi-Fi now. Because it's not gonna let me do the update. Because each game usually has some sort of an update. Let's see what happens. Sometimes another thing with these, if this just hasn't been used in a long time, or it's been sitting in storage, you gotta put it in twice. And this one's alright. Sometimes you, if it doesn't do anything the first time, take it out and put it back in again. See, now it's gonna ask me to do an update, but I don't want I don't have the Wi Fi connected yet. <sighs> So we're good. Let's see if it does it. It should ask. It should. Or well, if it can't, maybe it'll just go right to the update. But no, it doesn't. It asks that question. It just says installing. So no, not see that's installed. So we know. First drive's good. Sweet. 